Uh, what you write, brother? I write man, man. Mayor. Mayor? Yeah. M-E-A-R? M-A-R-E. M-A-R-E. Yeah. Ma. Man. <laughs> man, uh, Ma is M-A-R. Mayor was short for Nightmare 139. You know, 139 with 139th Street, where you grew up. I liked tagging up Nightmare, but it was too long. You know, two, two name names was a thing of the 70s. You know, Super Strut, Junior Bick was one of them, Little Kindle, El, Little Corrado, and I thought Nightmare was a, a good name, but I chose it also because of the style, the style writing name. It had good style letters. And so, you know, I said, okay, well, I'll shorten it and do Mare, Mare pieces. Also, writers have more than one name. You know, I had other names too. I had Rig 340, you know, as a writing name. I had, you know, countless other toy names. What we have here is the first uh, wild style graffiti sculpture I ever made um, in the summer of 1985. I call it the perfect perception. I thought that it made sense. You know, writers wanted this thing to come alive, to bounce off the train, not just with color, but with some kind of movement and depth. Sound, rhythm, and form were really important. And, you know, being around a lot of the best b-boys too, back in the day, from, you know, the, all the Rocksteady crew and, and those guys, and Fable and stuff, you know, I learned a different language, a different wild style language, a physical graffiti. So, you know, when arrows come out and do this, and, and all this stuff happens, it translates into a different type of wild style, and you see that in the sculptural form, but also you also see it on trains. You know, you, I can see it, you know, when things kind of pop, lock, and connect. You see some of these ribbon like things kind of curling up and jumping back into the piece, or just shooting out an arrow kind of just wrapping around this whole thing and the fence. I thought this was cool because this kind of reminded me of the fence of the yards. And I'm just kind of freestyling when I go in there. I don't have an outline. I don't have a fill-in. I let light and form take care of that for me. 86, early 87, I started looking at Frank Stella's work and the Russian constructivist, and I said, I want to burn these guys. I want to burn. Just want to do something different. You have to bite. You have to. There's no, none of us would be doing what we're doing if we didn't bite at one point or another. There's no one that unique. This says knock, there's an N, the center is an O, a kind of an O. Knock, he used to do pieces where his O's used to explode with color and arrows and things like that. And then there's the C. That's a knock 167. That's my interpretation. There are three important periods in my work. First with the wild style letters and metal, and then there are these free form expressive pieces. And then I started doing these very simple, uh, design reliefs and sculptures. So here's the paradigm shifter. You know, of course, the arrow. You know, everybody's got their arrow, and, and such an important part of my work and graph that I wanted to do like a piece that really just kind of stripped it down, you know, the style, but then, you know, still like kind of rock with style. Hey, people, that's my cat, people. So, you know, I. I, I shifted gears, you know, and I said, wow, let me take my work onto a high-end level. This is an award that was designed for BET, Black Entertainment Television. I took a lot of pride in it because as a graffiti writer doing something within the urban community and being like, yeah, you know, like my peeps are going to see this, you know, for a long time. I don't know if the entertainers will get it when they read, oh, designed by Carlos Mayo and 39 Rodriguez, but, you know, to me it's like, you know what, I got up. I got up big time. We lost the trains and, and gained the world. That is the, the true case here, that we were able to like, okay, maybe we lost this war, but you know what? We didn't really lose the war. Actually, this, we this, this, battle. we, no, we multiplied. We, we multiplied, we transformed. We kind of like said, okay, well, we're going to morph into your structured society and still make our mark.